hi guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel i am unboxing my phone for you guys all right we are unboxing this new phone Okay, everything tranced over to my new phone, but this is kind of the layout of how I had my old one. If you can see like the numbers at the top, they're supposed to be in that little box, but it's not lining up since this is a new phone. This is how it lined up on my other phone. This one has the numbers all lined up. Same thing, like her ears go in between the wi-fi sign and we are going to go on pinterest and find a new background so i'm going to scroll pinterest right now and i am gonna look for a new background look how cute these chairs are this is the current screensaver that I have. Hmm. Oh, how cute. Stop it. All right, I added some more in there and I'm going to play around and see which ones I like. This one is kind of the vibe of my phone case. So we'll see. Yep, this is the home screen. I think it's so cute with the little, my melodies popping out at the bottom. So they have preset little icons here and I believe I used like a pack of pink ones somewhere. I don't know if they still have them, but they have multiple little options you can choose from. Like here's a super cute free pink one. That's adorable. Don't know if that's the one I used. Oh, maybe that's the one I used. Here's another free pink one. And, oh, that one's pro. Anyway, they have a lot of options. Honestly, like a lot of different ones. Ooh, I think that's, is that the one I'm using? Oh yeah, that's the one I'm using. I am using this preset right here of little icons to chain. And so these ones are a little bit different than if you just use shortcuts. Um, I think shortcuts is probably easier because when you click on this, it opens straight to the app. This brings you to, oh, okay. It brought me to shortcuts. And it kind of pulls up just like a, like a blank page right before. To do a color widget, you can actually just click right on here to insert back into the app. Um, let's see, where's my page? So here's how you would add a widget and then it would probably pop up something like this. You can go in and then you can add your own picture. Let's say I wanted 
this one. I'm gonna crop it a little bit because I didn't want the black showing. And then you see how it still has the words. If you don't want any words, then you can go to change widget at the bottom. And then here will be a spot where it says photo blank. Click on that. And then you can hit set widget. And then go to the bottom, the one you just made. And hit set. And then once you go back, it will be right there. And then if you ever want to change your widgets, you can hold this down. And you can click edit widget. And then right here where it says widget 14, if you click that, you can go and click on different ones. So we can click 15, the one we just made. And I think I honestly like the way that that one looks better. I think that's adorable. So that is how the home screen's looking. And then I still like keep all my apps kind of on this back page. I need to organize all of these, but this is like where I keep all of the regular apps. And then I kind of just have these for fun, for the vibes. We'll definitely go through what's on my iPhone. Really quick, I'm gonna put the new case on and the new phone charm on as well. Let's go ahead and pop this open and take a look at my new case. I'm so excited. I just love getting a new wildflower case. They always send stickers with their cases. Oh, see, look. Look at this sticker they already sent. It's adorable. Okay, this case, you guys. Look how freaking cute. I feel like they sent me so many stickers. I thought they usually only sent two. Maybe they sent three. I can't remember. Okay, so this is how wildflower cases always come, just like this. Had to open up. Ooh! And then it always comes with this little paper in the inside. Welcome to the fam. Yay, you now own a super cute limited edition wildflower case. Can't wait to see your mirror pics. And then this is the family that makes the cases. I will never stop ordering wildflower cases. There's still so many cute pink ones on their website that I would love to have as well. And I don't know if you can see here on the side, I love this little detail that they always add. It says, you belong among the wildflowers. And it's just a cute little quote that they always put on the inside of their cases. And I've always just resonated and felt like that was the cutest little saying. Then I also have some phone charms to add as well. You girlies, help me decide. Should we go with this one? Or should we go with this one? Let's go ahead and see what else we got. It looks like we have this sticker that says Bear Hug. I love it. We also have this one very coquette or with the ballerina shoes and the bow and then i also have a little leopard how cute and then it also came with an alcohol prep pad because i did go ahead and order some new pink rhinestone protectors for the case and here we go we are putting her on in to the new case it is a absolute perfect fit look how beautiful i love how she looks i think she looks absolutely beautiful now all that's missing is the little lens camera protector so let's go ahead and do that okay, we are going to get ready to prep the cameras to put on the lenses girlies this is what it is officially all done looking like I try to show you with some better lighting this is her in all her glory 
Now let's go ahead and get into this, what's on my phone. All right, let's go ahead and get into what is on my iPhone. So this is how she looks in my hands. How adorable is she? I just love the rhinestones on the, ca on the camera. And then this is the front. I do love how it came together with the accessories. I think the little bow on here is perfect. I am screen recording this as I do this. So I might pull over to the side just a little bit so I can possibly put the screen somewhere over here. I do have this My Melody color widget, this Hello Kitty color widget. And I also have them together having a little tea party. That is so cute. Then we have Amazon. Amazon. And it just brings you to Amazon. We have my clock app, Instagram, TikTok, SoundCloud, YouTube, Snapchat. And then Epidemic Sound is actually what I use for my music on YouTube. This allows you to just pick background music and stuff for your videos without being copyrighted. It's a very handy tool if you are a YouTuber or thinking about being a YouTuber. And then we have the music app, the camera app. Let's see, here you guys are. Well, it's a camera inception. Then I have this when I work. So that is my work schedule. I'm not going to go completely into there, but that's like my work schedule. It shows all the days that I work for the next um, two upcoming weeks. Then I have my photos app. I have DoorDash and then I have CuteCut Pro, which is what I actually use to edit my videos. Let's see, here's my last close of my vlog in here. We can actually get rid of those since that video is up but that is cute cut pro that is what i use to edit my videos i have my calculator app the calendar app on this page um facetime i have drive which is google drive then we have the starbucks app pinterest facebook walmart twitter which is now x so we probably should rename that as x but Right now it still says Twitter, so I'm fine with it. I'm pretty sure if I open it, it still takes me, yeah. Still takes me to Twitter, so that's cool with me. And then we have SoundCloud again, which is crazy. I think I'm using it just as like a filler little spot for the home screen. So everything looks in order and aesthetic because I do have SoundCloud on this page, like the actual one. Um, I did throw in like a few little black and white ish apps that one has blue and orange or that one has blue and yellow but i did throw in some like uh black and white little apps to go in and match with the pink theme and then on this page like i said this is everything that's on my phone basically so again this is like all the apps again but we also have bitmoji which we can actually re-download live collage i I use that to edit some of my thumbnails and then I have Hulu, Cash App, FaceTime, Clock, Settings, Photos, Instagram, DoorDash, Amazon. This is just where I keep like all of my apps together. Oh, I need to re-download my video. See, there was a lot of stuff on my old phone I didn't have storage for and I couldn't keep everything downloaded because just making videos took so much space off my phone. So when I got this one, I made sure to get all of the storage possible. And then here's my message app. Uh, I have the phone app, Safari app store. When I work is like how, okay. When I work is the app that I use to clock in and out of work with. So that's that's how that goes all it says is i'm next on pita 2 and yeah i work on a food truck so it's a pretty 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 fun job and then here's camera capital one music 
calendar or YouTube studio. YouTube studio is how I keep track of everything and with comments. That is how I keep up with you guys right here on the YouTube studio app. Then I have my baking apps, my notes app, and my Gmail. And over here, see, this is what I mean. Everything needs way more organizing. I don't know why it's such a mess in these folders. And then on the side, I have my Jolt, which is another thing that we use for work. And then I also have the Google Calendar. We also use that for work. Um, I have the... I have my ring camera app, color widgets app, and then the calculator. And then in this boring, I have maps, wallet, health, contacts, files, and utilities. Okay, see, that's what I mean, utilities. I literally had two phone apps somehow. So I got rid of one of them. And now I have that one that's there, YouTube, Facebook, VidIQ is another thing I use for YouTube. And then ADP Mobile is something that I use for work. I have Pinterest, Canva, Ooh, I almost dropped my phone. Canva is something that I use to edit my thumbnails as well. And then Triple C is another thing that we use for work. I have the Walmart app, music app, and the Apple Store app. And that is all of the apps that are on my phone. I definitely need to um, go in and edit this last page some more and just get all of my apps together together. But, but that is everything that is on my pink iPhone 15. I hope you guys liked this video and enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. I'm obsessed with my new case, new phone just all of it like it's such a vibe it's so cute and so pretty give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell that way you yes you will be notified next time i upload a video and i'll see all of you in the next one bye